Hey Capricorn, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are, I love you guys, you know I love my Cappy crew, you're awesome. Everybody who comes back every month, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you. If you're new, thank you also for stopping by, I really appreciate you too, I hope the reading resonates. If it doesn't, go ahead and check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, you will probably find something there that does. If it does resonate, be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment because I am choosing from the comments of the most liked video every month to some of the giveaway a free private reading. I was doing a bonus reading, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick from the comments of the most liked video every month. So be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment and you might get chosen by spirit. I use the pendulum to choose. You might get chosen uh, to get a free private reading, okay? Um, if you want to just go ahead and book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. There you can also find the link to my Patreon page where I'll upload an extended version of this reading. I upload extensions to all 12 of the Zodiac readings every month, and you can get access to all 12 of them for just $3.33. You can also find my Twitter and Instagram links there if you want to follow me. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, if you're new, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. And, of course, like everyone always says on YouTube, and it's the truth anyway, uh, energy is fluid, time is fluid. You know, I'm reading for August. This could have already played out, could be playing out now, could play out any time in the future. I could say you, it could be your person, I could say your person, it could be you. If I say, if it's a king, it could actually be a queen and vice versa. We're doing energy here, not gender. Okay, and I'm reading for love, but if it resonates with you on another relational level, feel free to apply it to your situation. All right, so let's go ahead and get started for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020, or whenever you're watching this reading. They really are meant to be timeless, these readings. All right, so if the title resonates or whatever, or you're just led to the video, it can resonate any time. All right, so Lady Be Spread Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2020. Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020? And is the card at the bottom of the deck reflective of the overall energy? Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Spirit, upright or reverse the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so it looks like you guys are putting some effort into this relationship or this connection this month. Don't know if it's a relationship yet, but there is an element of work, of effort, of wanting to work things out, of willing to, you know, make the effort. That's the energy that it's the overall energy of your connection right now. So I don't know exactly what's going on yet, but I feel like both of you do want this to work out. Whatever, wherever this connection is right now, you're both wanting it to work out. OK, also, you could both be kind of distracting yourself with your regular work. All right, so let's see how you're feeling about this person, Capricorn. Ooh, the tower. Scorpio energy. So you, of course, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Upright or reverse the tower. Okay, Capricorn. So I feel like, you, obviously, there was probably some sort of sudden event or sudden epiphany that you had. Your feelings may have recently suddenly changed for this person, or you may have recently found out something about this person that changed how you feel, or you feel like everything just like fell apart and you're like, you know, just broken about it. Like the tower hit. So this could have been an actual incident that literally like took you, like pulled the rug right out from underneath you regarding this person in this connection. Or this could be like you having some sort of wake up call, like epiphany moment. And now you all of a sudden see things much more clearly than you were before. So we'll have to get clarifiers and find out. But again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Even Aries, because it's very Mars energy. Okay, so let's see how your person is seeing you. The Magician, that's Aries energy. Upright or reverse, the Magician. So 
So your person is seeing you as, it's kind of like a defeated energy. I mean, the magician in reverse is like powerless. So your person's seeing you as feel, at least feeling powerless in this situation, feeling like there's really nothing that you can do. Like you don't have all that you need or you don't have the tools that you need to make something work or happen. Uh, your person is just looking at you. The connection is like it's not working out. They feel powerless. They see you as feeling powerless. How do they feel about you? Ooh, three of swords. What is going on? Upright or reverse the three of swords. Wow. Capricorn. So your person is heartbroken. I mean, you have the tower. They have the three of swords. This is heavy, heavy shit going on right now. Your person's sad. There may be a third party situation for some of you. It is the three of swords, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, people do jump to that. It, it doesn't have to be you. I mean, this is the heartbreak card, dude. I mean, you don't have to be in a third party to have this energy, you know, but it is quite often associated with that. So for some of you, it could be okay. But your person is quite devastated right now. And you probably are as well with that tower and your feelings. Um, what the hell happened? The emperor Aries. There's a lot of Aries energy here. I'm sorry, I said this was Aries. This is actually um, Gemini and Virgo. So we have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, and Aries. Uh, upright or reverse, the Emperor Spirit. All right, so there was a little bit of, there was a lack of control, lack of structure. There was some sort of chaotic energy that took over in the recent past. Um, or just somebody's not budging, not taking charge. Somebody's very stuck in their ways and just, just you're, there's some, some sort of impasse here. Like if you're both kind of in this energy, somebody's in this energy, it's like the emperor in the reverse, like a my way or the highway kind of attitude. It's like, uh, uh I'm not budging. I mean, the emperor doesn't really budge anyway, but the emperor can take charge. But in reverse, this is a very chaotic energy. So there was some sort of lack of structure led to some sort of chaotic, even if it wasn't chaotic happenings, even though it looks like some chaos over here went down, even if it was just internal chaos, <clears throat> we'll get clarifiers on that. Let's see. What's the current situation between you and this person? The Knight of Swords, upright or reverse the Knight of Swords. So both of you, whether you are saying it or not, you both have a lot to say. There may be bickering back and forth, actual arguing. Um, if not, you're both wanting to, and you both have a lot to get off your chest right now. Uh, somebody might have fled the connection or be, or is fleeing the connection, but the Knight of Swords, it's very fast. Whatever happened, obviously happened very suddenly with the Knight of Swords and the tower. All right. So now what energy is your person bringing your way in August or what's their most likely next move in regards to you? Strength. It's Leo energy. <clears throat> Upright or reverse strength spirit. So they may be holding back for now and they may continue to hold back from you a bit in August, but ultimately this is an energy also of, you know, trying to gather up courage, trying to heal, wanting to heal a situation. So we'll get clarifiers, but for most of you, I do believe this person is holding back at this time and probably will continue to do so for a bit longer here in August. Okay. Now, what is your advice when dealing with this person? The queen of cups. All right, I just heard try a little tenderness. Upright or reverse the Queen of Cups. So yeah, some of you might, um, you know, when the tower falls, sometimes that can cause, uh, well, it does cause a wide range of emotions. So, you know, sometimes we can tend to toughen up and maybe get a little bit too tough and rigid and we do have that emperor there in reverse in the past so maybe somebody it could have been you capricorn that was a little bit too too hard or something so i feel like you're being advised to soften up just a little bit okay but also really really search yourself search your heart capricorn to find out how you really really feel about this person and how you really want to proceed forward also i'm hearing to use your intuition okay so use your intuition and definitely be searching your heart with this person but also Try to soften up. Don't let yourself be overtaken by very hard emotions. When we have these types of incidents, it's very easy to let that happen. <clears throat> All right. If, if you want, you know, to try to do anything with this connection, for sure, that's what they're advising you to do. All right. So let's see what your most likely outcome is with this person. 
The Six of Cups. That's very good. Let's see. Nice. Upright or reverse, the Six of Cups. Yes, very nice. So I do see if you guys are on the outs, which I feel that you are, uh, there will be a reconciliation or it is most likely anticipated that you will have a rec uh, reconciliation. You guys clearly miss each other. You may have known each other for a very long time, maybe even from childhood or maybe you're just from the same place. There's a feeling of home when you think of this person. Some This is a very familiar feeling, even if you haven't known them that long. Because this is soulmate energy. Okay, so you guys have likely been together in past lives. If you haven't, you know, had a very long past in this life, there's just some sort of pull and feeling that the nostalgic feeling that you have with this person. And it's probably what's bringing you guys right back together because I do see this as reconciliation in the outcome. And you both want to work it out here, I see. All right, so let's clarify, see what else we can get here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice if I have to clear my throat too much. I've got something going on. All right. Spirit, please please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out. Two by two, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August of 2020. Sheesh. Spirit of the top 16 cards, the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones uh, that are already laid out for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2020. And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy reflection. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. So oh, I didn't put them down too fast. We have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Upright or reverse spirit, the Four of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. All right, so yeah, um, both of I don't feel like there's communication very, very little, if any at all, right now in this overall energy. Uh, you're both wanting to talk. You're feeling restless. Both of you wanting to take action, wanting to do something. There's still a whole hell of a lot of passion left in this connection. Okay, this Queen of Wands definitely wants to take action on that passion, wants to move forward. She's a go-getter. It's a very passionate energy. So I see two people who want to work it out, two people who want to communicate, feeling very restless and probably feeling very passionately. That may be what's causing the restlessness. But at the same time, clearly there's heartbreak here. So let's see, you feel the tower for your person and very guarded with the nine of wands, but you're not giving up. Huh. Wow, very guarded with the nine and seven of wands. Holy crap, upright or reverse the nine of wands and the seven of wands. Yeah, so the tower fell, whatever happened, puts you on guard big time, Capricorn. Okay, I mean, you're not giving up. You're feeling defensive. You are definitely feeling defensive about whatever happened or whatever you've recently realized or whatever. It's definitely got you feeling tired and beat down, wondering if you really do have what it takes to uh, really continue to put energy into this connection at all. You may be considering giving up. But at the same time, you, you still do want to fight for it. And, you know, after putting in so much effort, this wounded warrior here, he's already went to so much trouble to stand up all these wands here. And it's like, do you really want to give up now at this, you know, at the ninth hour or whatever? You know, it's like, it's really, you're, you're really torn right now, Capricorn. I feel like you are really torn. Like, what do I do? Like, you're kind of like a deer in the headlights, stunned by this tower. Like, I don't even know what to do. I'm tired. I feel like giving up. I feel like this probably is not never going to work out. Your person sees you as feeling powerless, but at the same time, you do still have energy to put into this connection and you really do want it to work out. You put so much effort into it, but you're just so tired. I feel it. All right. So how they see you as feeling powerless, the queen of pentacles, but sitting there looking beautiful or handsome, the seven of cups. Upright or reverse the Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. 
Yeah, so <clears throat> they may see you as having a lot of options, Capricorn. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is usually taken, but I mean, she doesn't have to be. Uh, but they see you as marriage material no matter what. This is how they see you. The Queen of Pentacles, definitely marriage material. But they may see you as someone who does have a lot of options. They may see you as being very confused about something right now. Maybe about this connection, especially if you've been uh, dumbfounded by the tower, right? So now you're just like, you've got stars going around your head right now after that tower incident, right? So yeah, they may see you as very confused, but also having, you know, your pick of uh, whoever you probably want. But also feeling very powerless when it comes to this connection and feeling like maybe it just doesn't have what it takes. All right. And they also may be confused when it comes to you. But they definitely think you look, you look just right for marriage material uh, or, you know, relationship material, Capricorn. How do they feel? The Three of Swords, they are broken hearted. The King of Pentacles, wow. Wow. And the Eight of Pentacles, wow. Capricorn, upright or reverse, the King of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. So Capricorn, they see you as their other half, okay? Because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles and they feel about you, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so they are very, very, in a very low energy, low vibration, sad, depressed, maybe even, okay? Um, <clears throat> really feeling that pain in their heart chakra right now, I feel. If you guys are in separation, which I feel like you probably are, they want to nurture this connection. They want to ground this connection. They want to bring the stability into this connection if it hasn't been there. If it has, they want to bring it back. They want to work this out with you, Capricorn. They see you as their other half. You are marriage material. Some of you may already be married to this person. Okay, but we have a perfect pair on the table. I already told you it's soulmate energy. The king and queen of pentacles are here. Okay, so now what happened in the past? There was some sort of lack of structure, lack of stability, and it was it led to some sort of chaos. The six of pentacles, was somebody giving to two? Was there an imbalance of energy? The ten of pentacles. Upright or reverse the Six of Pentacles. Upright or reverse the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. So, was somebody investing in two people? Like, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is like long term energy. Like, in this, you know, it's like, this is an investment. The Ten of Pentacles is an investment. Somebody could have been married. I'm just going to say, so, and somebody, so that this is a marriage here, okay, and this is chaos over here, and it could have been from somebody giving to two. There could have definitely been a third party situation. We certainly see that three of swords there, but uh, somebody could have already been in a marriage or some sort of life partnership type situation, okay, however that plays out for your situation, and it just led to some kind of chaos because, you know, three's a crowd. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. I just did cancers yesterday, and that's the name of that reading, three's a crowd, and I remember this being a focal point of that reading. So, yeah, I feel like uh, either there was just an imbalance of energy exchange in this connection that led to chaos. Possibly somebody was married. Uh, and that could have been the tower. Somebody found out that somebody was married or found out something that they didn't really otherwise know before about this person. Um, and it had to do with, I feel like, some sort of commitment. The Ten of Pentacles is also commitment. So this person could have been otherwise committed. Okay. It led to some sort of chaos in this connection and possibly some very strong words. Okay. And maybe someone leaving. All right. So let's see. Clarifying that Knight of Swords as the current situation or current energy. The Chariot. Again, you could be dealing with a Cancer. And the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Upright or reverse the Chariot. Upright or reverse the Eight of Swords. Neither one of you can move on. You're completely stuck. You're totally stuck in your head, probably trying to, you know, play, saying everything that you want to say, you know, but it's all in your head. Like you're, you're wanting to get so much off your chest to this person, but you're not. It's, you're stuck in your head. You're both completely stuck. You can't move forward. You can't move on. There is a complete imbalance here uh, of energies and you're not, there's an obstacle, a main obstacle here. There's probably more than one, but there's definitely 
Because the chariot in the upright is about overcoming obstacles and victory. Okay, so you guys are feeling very, very like a failure right now. And uh, as far as this connection goes, and you're not, there's some sort of obstacle here that is not being overcome at this time. That you feel, it feels kind of insurmountable. Okay. So what is your person most likely to do next in this situation or the energy they're bringing your way this month? Oh, geez, the emperor. So we have strength and we have the emperor. Oh my gosh. And the eight of cups. Upright or reverse the emperor. Upright or reversed the eight of cups. All right, so they may hold back a little bit, but I do believe they're coming back. I mean, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. This person wants to come back. Okay, so the Emperor is in the upright here. Your person wants to take charge and actually bring, like, bring this back together. If there was chaos, they want to put it back together and put a structure to it. They want to return to this connection. They want to heal this connection. They may, like I said, continue to hold back a little bit. But also, by the way, this... Uh, in the strength card, this is Leo energy. This is Aries energy. But this said to be the Empress, okay? And she's like taming the beast. And the beast is like the ego. Okay, the Emperor is very associated with ego. So this is like an Emperor and Empress here also for me. And it's so it's, again, more of uh, that soulmate, twin flame type of energy for me. But this person definitely wants to heal this connection. They may be holding back for a little while longer because they are very broken hearted. Um... And they, they see you as very defensive also and as confused. So for whatever reason, they're waiting for a little while longer. But let's see what your advice is. Definitely use your intuition. Search your heart. What do you really want in this connection or out of, you know, this situation? And uh, try a little tenderness, Capricorn, okay? The Two of Cups. Wow, Capricorn, this is your advice. Upright or reverse the Two of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Wow, Capricorn, search your heart. Search your heart, and if you listen to your intuition, I think you'll hear it telling you that this is your person. That's probably why you've been sticking it out. For however long you've been sticking it out, Whatever's going on, that's why you're still even thinking about this person. If there was a third party situation, it's because you know deep down this is your person. You feel that soulmate pull, that twin flame energy that's pulling you together. This is your person. Spirit saying, this is your person. Okay, search your heart. Listen to your intuition. If you listen to the voice of your guides, you'll hear them telling you. It may seem like this is the time to give up. You feel like you're about ready to throw in the towel. But Spirit saying, it's not time to throw in the towel. Obviously, you get to make your own decisions. Free will is a real thing. You don't have to listen to spirit, but that's what spirit's telling you. It ain't time to throw in the towel yet. I might call it that. Maybe I'll title it. It's not time to throw in the towel. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So what about this outcome? We do have reconciliation here. The high priestess could be dealing with Pisces energy. And the seven of swords. Whoa. Secrets are coming out, I think. Let's see. Upright or reverse the high priestess. Yep. And the seven of swords. So, okay. For some of you, there's definitely that third party energy and that's that tower. Okay. And maybe you're waiting for your person to admit it. And that might be them coming forward to do that. Taking charge with this emperor coming back. Okay. Finding the courage here with the strength card to come forward and take action to speak their truth. This is about revealing something. This in the upright, this is about getting away with something, trying to get away with something. And it's like, no, coming clean for me in the, in the reverse, the high priestess, it's about secrets, right? In the reverse. Yeah. Those secrets are coming out. They're coming to light. The six of cups, that's reconciliation. That's like I said, that home feeling energy, that nostalgia, that beautiful, sweet feelings. There's definitely love here in the outcome and a revelation of some truths okay you may already know the truths and just be waiting to hear it from this person or you may get some new truths altogether. but I feel like you probably already know for the most part since you have that tower and how you feel about them all right but Capricorn no matter what I do see that it looks like reconciliation is on the horizon for you with a beautiful soulmate twin flame connection okay so keep your head held high, search your heart, don't let yourself get too melancholy, all right, and, um, you know, 
just stay positive. If you want to look more into how your person feels about you and what they're going to do next, as well as more uh, advice with Tarot and Oracle, look into the outcome some more, you can follow me over to Patreon. Uh, if not, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed August. And uh, stay safe, healthy, and sane out there. I'll check you guys back in September. Thanks. Bye.